Available now. Link below. In a stunning reversal, a voice from the left endorses a right-wing blueprint for America's border crisis. What happens when a liberal pundit on a major network declares that the former president had it right all along? Well, tonight we unravel the story of unexpected agreement and undeniable controversy, so you don't want to miss our final thought on why this seismic acknowledgement signals a crucial turning point for a republic. Now, before we dive deep into today's special report, let's take a moment for a quick tip on handling another kind of crisis, a financial one, due to rising AC bills as summer heat waves approach. So picture this as the political heat rises, so too do temperatures across the nation. Now imagine slashing those soaring AC bills just like we're cutting through today's political noise. That's right. Thanks to this incredible little device, a mini AC unit, you can chill your rooms in minutes without breaking the bank. It's like turning back the policies to more efficient times, keeping you cool without the hefty price tag. This device not only cools your space, but also keeps extra cash in your pocket, proving to be a lifesaver during blackouts with up to 25 hours of icy air. Get 60% off today by visiting easysummercool.com. That's easysummercool.com, or just click the link in the description for a risk-free summer with fast shipping across the USA. Now, in an era where political divisions carve deep into the fabric of our republic, a surprising voice emerges to suggest a reevaluation of strategies we thought were behind us. Fareed Zakaria, a commentator often seen championing liberal causes on CNN, delivered a bombshell when he publicly endorsed immigration policies previously implemented by President Donald Trump. The statement came during an interview on PBS Firing Line with Margaret Hoover, causing ripples across both sides of the political spectrum. Zachariah expressed profound disappointment in President Biden's approach to the border crisis, highlighting a lack of seriousness in tackling the issues that have led to unprecedented influx of migrants. He critiqued the current administration's failure to effectively manage the border, which he argues has become a gateway for illegal entry facilitated by cartels. Now take a look at Zachariah's remarks during the interview where he challenges the Biden administration's policies and underscores the effectiveness of the Trump era measures. Watch system is broken and Biden needs to confront that and say, you know, we are going to have to reform the whole system. I would I would wish he'd do something much more extreme, like say the old asylum system is dead. No one is coming in through that process. You have to apply from your home country, which was a Trump policy, which was, a you know, a Trump and also the Mexico, you know, let you have to be in Mexico uh, uh -huh. to uh, to uh, apply. I think that's all correct. So strategically, you think that think if be, Biden would tack yeah. towards Trump policies, yeah. he and would have actually a better, right, better I mean, political chance. And it's also the right policy because the, the old asylum system is being gamed yeah. by millions of people. Wow. Wow. I'm blown away <laughs> to see this from the mouth of somebody on CNN. Now, Zachariah's critique extends beyond mere commentary, serves as a call to action for the Biden administration. He urged a complete overhaul of the asylum system, advocating for return of policies such as the Remain in Mexico policy, which required asylum seekers to wait in Mexico while their applications were processed. This policy, according to Zacharia, not only streamlined the immigration system, but also significantly deterred illegal immigration. And the endorsement of Trump's immigration policies by a prominent liberal figure is not just a critique of Biden's failures, it's an illustration of the bipartisan acknowledgement that the current system is broken. It signals a potential shift in the dialogue surrounding immigration policies, suggesting that practical solutions could transcend political allegiance. Now, critics might argue that revisiting Trump's policies could lead to harsher border control measures. However, the increasing challenges of the border present a scenario where tough decisions need to be made. It's not about political gains, but about addressing a growing crisis that's affecting millions of Americans and migrants alike. Zachariah's bold statement highlights a crucial aspect of leadership, the willingness to adopt strategies that work, irrespective of their political origins. So as we delve deeper into the issue, it becomes apparent that solving the border crisis may require a blend of approaches, possibly taking cues from past administrations, hmm? ones that actually showed success. If you got value from this report, tap subscribe. It's time for my final thought. So now we peel back the veil on a truth that many would rather keep hidden. When a liberal pundit like Fareed Zakaria steps forward to commend the immigration policies of a former Republican president, it signals more than just a policy endorsement. It highlights a dire need
for practical solutions over partisan politics. This moment is not just about immigration. It's a profound call for our leaders to prioritize the well-being and security of the American people above all else. So as we reflect on today's revelation, let's remember the importance of valuing effective leadership that genuinely addresses the challenges that are facing our republic. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.